In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We say all together, you are so lovely. It is very nice to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, which God wants to give us His mercy, and His love, and His forgiveness. It is so important, so I have to stress the, about our faith. Before everything, we have to believe after this life, something else. I mean, should we exist the kingdom of God? We say next life, after this life, obviously. So if we don't believe after this life, this life will be continually in the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. What you listen, what you lead, or what you are doing, that all are useless. So how important, I know, every day probably our heart or our mind, our mind are some, sometimes different, isn't it? Some day is very happy, some day a bit upset, some day lonely, some day doubt, some day, but it is so important that we believe continually, not in my mind, but in our Lord Jesus Christ in God. If we believe this life will be continually, even though one day we die, we pass away, or we will be uh, like grass, this word of God will be alive for you and your life. Today's Holy Gospel, all the scripture is very joyful to listen with our heart because Jesus has appointed another 72 disciples and sent them for the kingdom of God. 70 or 72, some, you know, the uh, Bible uh, original, you know, said 70 or 72. Anyway, we say 72 as a scripture today, so you know, say. If you divide the 72 by two, how many? 36, no? Yeah, so means uh, Jesus sent them 36 different villages or towns. Wow, it's very exciting, isn't it? Why? Because Jesus sent in pairs, no? Why in pairs, one and two? Yeah, I can go alone, no problem, Jesus. But Jesus said, Go as a pair, <laughs> you and other companion. You know why? It's better one and another. Like our legs, no? We can work one with one leg, but it's better two legs, isn't it? No? One by one. One leg is, uh, we say, the prayer. The other leg, we say, the activity. So one and another. Okay? So, 36 towns and, uh, you know, the uh, villages for what? For the kingdom of God to preach the gospel, the good news. The life is not just the one day you finish it at the crematorium or you know, cemetery, but your life will be continually if you believe really in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is so important. And then he explained about even though 72 disciples were there, but he asked for the laborers, asked God to send us more, more people, those who you know, spread this good news. Today, actually, it seems like we have many, you know, the preacher or many priests, many people, those who you know, the, uh, proclaim the Holy Gospel. But in a real life, 
not many. Think about in your life how many times you spread good news to your neighbor or went to the other, you know, the side to say just the only one aim to, you know, the say or to proclaim the holy gospel. I mean about Jesus Christ. Think about with your heart. Not many times. We are all called by God to spread this good news, not just for priests or bishops or other, you know, the uh, officials or ministers within the church, but everyone, those who've been baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, they should be missionary to spread good news. No, no, the life is not finished just, uh, you know, the, the, and then nothing, no. The life, even though one day you die, but if you believe, God will raise you within the uh, Jesus resurrection. You will have a eternal life. So this good news, anyone, everyone, spread the whole world. It is so important anyway about the mission. And then what happened? These 72 disciples came back to Jesus and with a joyful heart and said, we wipe up the bed, oh sorry, um, Lord, even the devils submit to us when we use your name. So how gracious, we spread the good news in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, or sometimes in the name of you or your mind, your will, your intelligence. I don't think so anyway. That is a big mistake. <coughs> the scripture mentioned many times, devils or Satan, don't be afraid. Somebody wanted to stop to us because so jealous because so liar don't want we love more God we, we believe more Jesus Christ we ask more in the name of the Holy Spirit so every times you think you feel you are weak or very you know the no energy no power please Ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in His name, in the blessed name. And then Jesus said, I watched the Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Yes, I have given you power to tread on the foot serpents and scorpions, symbolically speaking, devils or Satan. So Jesus gave us the power. This power is so important. Not the power like, you know, the human think, authority or other things, command. No, this power is just one word, love, L-O-V-E. With love, we can spread the good news the person who is a really God and man, Jesus Christ. So my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus gave them the power and also told them to do one thing. When you go to the town or village, you say, the kingdom of God is here, near to you, in hands. Why he said the kingdom of God is near to you means the life is not finished here but will be continually in uh, his kingdom. How can we know about this, this you know, the, uh, promise or this command of Jesus Christ to say the kingdom of God is near to you? Through the healing of the sick. So, if we believe in God, 
Why not? We have uh, many signs and symbols and uh, miracles happened in our life. We are not following the sign or miracle, but we follow Jesus crucified with uh, the love of God and Jesus resurrected by the love, obviously. That is the main thing. And then, if God wants, consequently, will heal or will give us many miracles or many other signs which is so nice. In the name of Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.